Sean Paul Ryan Francis Henriquez, born January 9, 1973, is a Jamaican reggae and dancehall singer and rapper. Paul's first album, Stage One, was released in 2000. He gained international fame with his second album, Duty Rock, in 2002. Its single Get Busy topped the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart in the United States, as did Temperature, off his third album, The Trinity, 2005. Sean Paul has an estimated net worth of $25 million. Early Life Sean Paul Ryan Francis Henriquez was born in Kingston on January 9, 1973. His mother Francis, a painter, is of white English and Chinese Jamaican descent. His Portuguese paternal great-grandfather's Sephardic Jewish family emigrated from Portugal to Jamaica in the 17th century, while his paternal grandmother was Afro-European. Paul's father, Garth Henriquez, was believed to be descended from Portuguese horse thieves who were fleeing from bounty hunters in a ship that sank in Jamaica. Paul was raised as a Catholic, though he also attended the Jewish private school, Hillel Academy in Jamaica. Several members of his family are swimmers. His grandfather was on the first Jamaican men's national water polo team. His father also played water polo for the team in the 1960s and competed in long-distance swimming, while Paul's mother was a butterfly swimmer. When Paul was 15, his father was arrested on charges of manslaughter and sentenced to 15 years in prison. He was released for good behavior when Paul was 19. Paul played for the national water polo team from the age of 13 to 21 when he gave up the sport in order to launch his musical career. He attended Woolmer's Boys School and the College of Arts, Science, and Technology, now known as the University of Technology, where he was trained in commerce with an aim of pursuing an occupation in swimming. In 1992, Paul worked as a bank teller and enrolled in a hotel management program, learning the basics of French cuisine. Personal Life as a teenager, he dated Nicole Winter, who passed away from a brain tumor at age 17. She is mentioned in the singer's song, Never Gonna Be the Same Again, and a photo of her was shown in the music video. In 2012, Paul married Jamaican television host Jody Stewart. In August 2016, it was announced that the couple was expecting their first child. On February 26, 2017, Paul announced the birth of their son. Their second child was born on August 20th, 2019. Career Sean Paul's music career began in the mid-90s when he started collaborating with another artist and producer called Jeremy Harding. Initially, Sean Paul simply hung around the recording studio and sought advice from more experienced artists. When he recorded Baby Girl, however, most onlookers knew that he was something special. Harding and Sean Paul then collaborated on Infiltrate, which achieved significant radio playtime. Over the next few years, Sean Paul started to gain influence overseas after collaborating with artists such as DMX and briefly appearing in the movie Belly. In 2000, Sean Paul released his debut album, Stage One. Produced by VP Records, the album featured a host of other Jamaican dancehall artists. Ultimately, the album failed to make an impact on an international level, but it was a step in the right direction. In 2002, his album Duty Rock made much more of a splash. With songs like Gimme the Light and Get Busy, the album was always destined to be an international hit. Sean Paul backed this up by collaborating with Beyonce on her track Baby Boy. Suddenly, Sean Paul's music was playing just about everywhere. Duty Rock is considered one of the first true examples of dancehall fusion, which is a mix between dancehall music and pop music. Proving that he wasn't just a one-hit wonder, Sean Paul returned to mainstream music with his next album, The Trinity. With tracks like We Be Burnin' and Temperature, Sean Paul ensured that he was nominated for a wide range of awards in 2006. That year, he managed to win an American Music Award for Give It Up To Me. As a testament to his growing fame, he performed at the Cricket World Cup in 2007. Sean Paul's next album was Imperial Blaze and was released in 2009. This album featured tracks like So Fine and She Want Me. Once again, the album featured a wide range of Jamaican dancehall artists. 
In prior statements, Sean Paul revealed that he intended Imperial Blaze to be a commentary on youth violence in Jamaica. That year, he collaborated with Shaggy and appeared in the Save a Life video. This video and track were intended to raise money for a children's hospital in Jamaica. In 2011, Sean Paul released Tomahawk Technique. The album featured a song called Got To Love You, which was a collaboration with American vocalist Alexis Jordan. The album also featured singles such as She Doesn't Mind. Like many of Sean Paul's albums, Tomahawk Technique was eventually nominated for Best Reggae Album at the Grammy Awards. That year, he also collaborated with the band Simple Plan for their song Summer Paradise. Sean Paul gave his fans another album in 2014. Full Frequency featured tracks like Other Side of Love and Entertainment, the latter of which was a collaboration with 2 Chains and Juicy J. In addition, figures such as Iggy Azalea, Damian Marley, and Nicki Minaj also appeared on the album. The album performed especially well in the UK. Also in 2014, Sean Paul collaborated with Enrique Iglesias on his ultra-popular track by Londo. He rounded out 2014 by collaborating with Major Lazer. Finally, he left Atlantic Records and announced that he was now an independent artist. In 2016, new management pushed Sean Paul towards a career resurgence, and he collaborated with Sia on a very successful hit single. That year, he also joined forces with a record label again, signing with Island Records. 2016 also marked the release of his hit single No Lie, which featured Dua Lipa. This song would serve as the lead single for his EP Mad Love the Prequel. In 2020, he released the track Calling On Me, which was a collaboration with Tove Lo. Thank you for watching and kindly subscribe, like and share this video to your family 